more practical expression of Welsh culture is that unique craft, the coracle. The River Tyvee has long been famous for its trout and salmon and its coracle fishes. If you follow the river inland from Cardigan, you come to the picturesque village of Kenarth, with its ancient bridge, its salmon falls, and its old mill and coracle centre. There, beside the Tyvee, I spoke to Denzel Davis, who's been making coracles at his home in Kenarth since he was a boy. The coracle is a craft that is made for one person. It has been used in this country for a few thousand years. When Pliny, the Roman historian, wrote about the Britons, he mentioned seeing coracles on this island. And the evidence was that when he wrote about them 2,000 years ago, that they had been in existence here for quite some time before that. And that it was only on this island that the historians had seen this particular craft. Today it is still used fishing in the same old primitive way as what they used to fish from them a thousand or two years ago. The coracle itself is an alarmingly fragile looking craft, roughly circular and light enough for a man to carry on his back. It consists of a framework of willows interwoven with hazel and covered with hide, or nowadays calico, and propelled by a single oar. But this fragility didn't stop Denzel Davis from making an extraordinary voyage in a coracle in the footsteps of his ancestors. It was curiosity of a youngster in those days. I'd always believed that, going back now a few thousand years, this kind of craft had been used by different races in moving from one part of the world to the other, you see. I paddled across the channel, but uh, it is not advisable to take coracles on the sea. How long did it take you? Thirteen and a half hours. And once you've seen a coracle, you'll realise what an extraordinary feat that was. Those of you who feel safer with mechanised transport might like to try a trip on the Tyvee Valley Railway at Henllan. And before you leave the valley, the Welsh Wool Museum at Drevach Valindre is well worth a visit.